On today's episode, I want to show you how I make those cool diagonal sections on your next web design. Everybody, welcome to this new segment on my channel, which is going to be called, I think, Webflow Weekly, where I want to share and answer some of the questions that I regularly ask when I regularly get asked about how to build stuff with Webflow. This week, it's a very common question about how to make those diagonal um, sections. And this is what I mean by this. This is just one example I found on Dribble from Darinka, but you can actually see that um, it's very, very common to create these kind of like diagonal sections. Um, you can see this repeating all over and it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome way to break out of this kind of boring uh, section changes of colors and kind of like make um, objects on the grid. And, and it's pretty cool and it's so easy to do. So I just want to show you how I do it. Let's jump into Webflow. I'm going to start a blank website call this diagonal because we don't need templates, right? Templates are lame. So let's see how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to very quickly throw in one section. Let's call this blue section. Um, let's make it just for the example, maybe 600 pixels wide and give it kind of a, um, a cool gradient color, um, even maybe diagonal blue color. So this is going to be one color and the other one is going to be maybe this color, uh, something like this. All right. So we have the first section and uh, which obviously we're going to throw in content later on, but let's throw this next section and uh, quite like here, let's make the second section kind of a grayish um, color. So let's call this, let's make this light gray, call this gray section. Gray section, always name your, your sections and everything so that you can make sure that you remember what is what and make this 600 as well. So now we have two sections. Now we want to make this kind of a diagonal cut between them. So what I'm going to do is in this gray section, I'm actually going to throw in a div block. I'm going to call this, let's say diagonal, just so we know what it is. And I'm also going to give it this gray color. Um, so let's go here and copy this color and paste it here in the background color and I'm going to give it some height like 300 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into the rotation or transforms and I'm going to rotate it. So let me just rotate it something like this. Okay, so this is now rotated and then I'm going to add one more transform which is going to move it a little bit higher. Um, wait, that's not working. So let's move it up. All right, so this, now we're kind of getting it, but we have a problem, which is this. So basically we have a rectangular here, uh, just a normal rectangular, which we kind of like rotated just a little bit, but the problem here, it's just not long enough. You see, it's not um, getting to the end. So to fix that, I'm just gonna make it wider than the whole website. So this sec, choose this diagonal section and in the width, I'm going to use something like 120% just to make sure that it's longer. Yeah. And this, this is pretty good. We probably need to bring it a little bit higher. Um, so let's move it a little bit higher. All right. So this looks pretty good right now. And you might think that we're finished, but we do have a problem just because you can see here um, what happened. Now I'm scrolling to the left because this element is bigger than the actual width of the screen. We're going to have this annoying vertical um, vertical scroll, which we obviously don't want. So to solve this, we're going to do something very simple. We're going to take a div and call this page wrapper, page wrapper, and we're going to actually put those two sections inside of it. So now they're actually nested inside this huge div. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this div is 100% width and of the, of the body. So it's just 100% and we're not going to allow for content to overflow. We're going to set the overflow to hidden, which means that if something is larger inside of it, and it is larger because this diagonal here is larger, we're not going to be able to show it. And so this is not going to be even uh, allowed to scroll. So obviously you can't see this right now, but the scroll issue is now 
completely solved and we basically have this diagonal cut. Obviously we can start putting in content here or here. We can put this above if we want. Um, we can make this you know, we can change the, the, the rotation to make sure that we like how it is designed, but basically we are ready. Now, if you want to do something a little bit more complicated, like, like here, this is not just, you can just take a, a rectangular and change this. You can actually bring this in as an SVG, um, as an image, and then just put this SVG there, um, you know, and make sure that it's 100%. But Basically, it's very, very simple. And this, this very simple example with a diagonal is without an image, which means it loads super fast. And as you can see, it was very, very easy to set up, which is always why I like to do kind of like custom things and not just stay within the template where it's all set up ready for you. Hope this was valuable for you. If you want to learn more about how to master Webflow, check out the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.